What's going on, YouTube? This is Mr. Solo Dello. I'm back to posting regular content for you guys. Hope y'all doing well, feeling good. Hope y'all staying out of the chaos and staying away from energy vampires. And it's kind of what I want to talk about with you guys is energy vampires and just people that have no place in your life. And the people that have no place in your life and they're just kind of there. They're just kind of taking up space. They're just there to watch you win. And they don't contribute to your life in any way. Those are the people that you need to cut off. You have no time for those people. Right? You should not be giving your time and energy. Nothing to these people. If they're not bringing. If they're not adding to your life. And remember what I said. Remember what I said before. If they're not adding, they are subtracting from your life. Period. You have to watch out for those people and watch out for the signs that people give you. Right? You'll know when somebody is down is down for you. You'll know when somebody's a real one. You know when somebody is made for adversity. Right? Someone that's made to be your brother. And they say in the Bible that brotherhood is molded from adversity. You're going to have friends that, you know, you're going to have some friends that can endure adversity along with you. They can go through the storm. They can, they can go to war with you. And from that point on, they become like a brother, right? But for the rest of the friends, of your so-called friends that just want to waste your time and just want to get you chasing these hoes, get you out and about late at night doing God knows what, partying every, uh, every night, you know, doing things you ain't you ain't supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? And you know, indulging in alcohol, drugs, weed, with these folks. You know, you have to understand that those things are pleasurable. They do entertain us, right? Not everybody, but if you have a habit of doing those those type of things. You have to understand that those things are, are what's going to keep you at the lowest level. You have to understand you can't level up. You can't grow from indulging in these bad habits with these so-called friends. Because they keep encouraging you to indulge in these bad habits. And they're doing nothing for you. They're, it's bringing you no value. It's not making you any money. It's not doing shit for you. But the, our problem is we keep on going back to the things that no longer serve us. And that's why we cannot evolve. That is why we cannot grow. And, and God is not going to bless us if we keep entertaining these NPCs, these lost sheep, right? We keep entertaining these, you know, entertain these bad habits that we that that we have, right? Smoking, drinking, you know, partying too damn much, and just taking part in ungodly things. See, the Most High is watching your every move and what you're doing. He sees the good that you're doing and he sees the wrong that you're doing. And he knows the heart of your friends. He knows the heart of your family and how they really feel. You don't know the heart of your friends because only the Most High can ponder if their heart. And only he can tell if their heart is pure and genuine, if their heart is the complete opposite of that, he will give you a sign. 
he will give you a sign that listen man this person that you're dealing with is not the right one he ain't that person ain't it you got to get away from that person asap because they are going to be your downfall and guess what not only will there be people in your life or friends that hold you back but there could be people in your life so-called friends that can line you up and can get you hurt out here man very dangerous people you have to understand you know jealousy jealousy and envy is very dangerous if there's anything you learn from the whole Shanquella case murder case in Mexico it's that jealous people are dangerous people never forget that point if you got jealous people around you if you got envy people around you you need to eliminate them right now cut them off right now block them do what you got to do well you may be saying well it's too hard i can't i can't just cut them off no it's not hard it's not hard to just cut somebody off when you got the most high on your side the most high gave you that sign for a reason otherwise he would have never have given you that sign if he knew that person had pure intentions if their heart was pure obviously their heart is not pure if they have a jealous heart What's, what makes their heart so pure then? Right? So you have to pay attention once again to the signs of people. And you can test and you can sniff out a jealous spirit out of anybody. Right? It just takes for you to read the room, read people's body language, to see if they like you, to see if they they really rocking with you right and you can easily tell if they're not you can pick up on the signs that, that they give you you know always trust what people show you right based off their actions never trust their words because they can say anything that sounds good to you but their energy will tell you something different their body language will tell you something different and what they do will tell you something different see I don't care what you tell me you can tell me some beautiful lies that's all you're gonna tell me is what I want to hear you're gonna just tell me some bullshit and gonna smile in my face but then when I turn my back you're gonna frown you're gonna be talking crazy about me you're gonna be slandering my character to somebody else I don't think so see I can see right through some of these people I can see right through them because God blessed me with discernment so I can identify an unclean heart right an, um, an impure heart a disingenuous heart and you guys have to be able to know when somebody's heart is impure If there's anything that you learn from that case, man, is that jealous friends can get you killed. They can be the reason why you don't come home to your parents. You know, real shit. What they did to that woman was effed up, man. It was so effed up. Like, I feel so bad for the parents. I really do. But the father is probably going through going through hell right now. The mother's probably going through some hell right now. I mean, they are just... They, they don't know what to do, you know? They find out their only daughter went to Mexico on a trip, and now she ain't coming back home. Like, that's... Like, I can't imagine how disheartening... And how tragic that must be for a parent, man. Because I, I mean, I'm not a parent, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't understand. I wouldn't know. But I can only imagine the pain, the pain that they're going through, man. And this is why, you know, you have to pick and choose your friends wisely. I feel like it's not smart to go on a trip with with a, a bunch of people that invited you. And 
like people that you barely I mean I don't know if she barely knew these people maybe she barely knew a couple of those people but from what I heard you know that one male friend happened to be her friend for about six years I'm assuming um, I don't know how long she was friends with, the, with, the, with those other girls I have no idea but she obviously you know did not pick up on the signs of their jealousy and it, it is a shame you know what they did to her it's unfair and and you know what everybody should be demanding justice for that young woman like seriously man like you got some real hateful people out here that they just don't like you for whatever reason they see your face they know that you're about something and they can't stand it they know there's greatness inside of you and they cannot stand it, man. They are so butthurt. They are so envy and jealous of what you have inside of you and what you're able to do and what you're capable of doing. They're jealous of your gift. But look, I'm going to wrap up this video by saying this. Make yourself unaccessible. Now, I'm not saying you got to completely isolate yourself from people. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is stop giving too much of yourself to people. You got to learn how to fall back and know when you're in too deep. Know when you feel like you're being taken advantage of by certain friends, okay? When you're around too many of these people and you gotta know when people are just draining your energy. That's where you gotta draw the line and separate yourself from them for a while, okay? Focus on what you have to get done. Make sure that, you know, your work comes first, not these people. They don't care about what, what you do for work. They don't care about your career. They don't care about your dreams. If they really gave a damn, you know, they would be supporting you 100% and they would be encouraging you. But guess what, man? The world has shown us that people are not like that. They're not like that at all. And it's, and it's a shame that they're not like that. But that's the reality. That's the reality, man. Not everybody going to support you. Not everybody going to, you know, have your back and encourage and, and encourage you in life. You know, not everybody's built like that. See, a lot of people have pride. And these people have a jealous heart. They don't know. They don't know how to show no love. They don't know how to congratulate people. They don't know how to you know, say something positive to people, you know, they, they don't have it in themselves to do it because they're too prideful and they're being operated by their ego. Their ego is always in control. So they can't say nothing positive to you. They can't, they can't give you your flowers when you're alive. And that's sad. See, what I've been told was that real recognizes real. And if you can't recognize real, then you ain't real. Don't tell me you real and you and you unable to recognize real. You're not real. You're just fake. Simple as that. You have to be able to recognize skill and talent from people. Even if you don't like that person, respect the fact that they put in the work and respect their work ethic respect what they were willing to sacrifice for their dream and for what and for what lifestyle they're living okay respect the grind don't get jealous at the next man or next woman if you're a sister don't don't do that stop with the jealous the jealousy because it's causing it's causing us it's causing a lot of violence Jealousy can lead to violence. It can lead to somebody getting deleted. 
There ain't no, there ain't no reason why you should be jealous of anybody. No reason. You're exactly where you need to be right now in your life. But just know you got to put in the work in anything that you're doing. Any dream that you have. The mission that you need to accomplish. The work has to be put in. Stop thinking that everything should be handed to you because you watch people on social media all day and that's why you get this jealous heart, right? You start to equip yourself with this jealous spirit. The, the sin of envy. Envy is a sin. That's one of the seven deadly sins is envy. The reason why you're too envious and jealous is because you are too idle. You are too idle. And when you are too idle, the devil will have his way with you. An idle mind is a devil's playground. So you will be easily, easily led into a jealous heart because you are too idle. You're too busy watching other people succeed. What about you? What about your success? What about your path and your dream? What about the, the plans that the Most High has for you? Have you forgotten about the plans that the Most High has for you? Don't let that be forgotten. So don't ever be jealous of the next man or next woman. Hell, be happy for them. Congratulate them. Recognize their work ethic. Recognize the work they put in to be where they at. Because that's what makes you a real one. And that's how God's going to bless you. By being a man of character. By being a woman of character. By just being happy for people and showing love. Where it is where where it's deserved to be at, right? Where it's deserved. You know, where people get their just due. You know, show them that love. Give them their, their flowers now. You may not want to because, again, you're too egotistical. You're too prideful, and that's the problem. You're controlled by your ego and pride. Nah, we ain't doing that, man. Just knock that, sh knock that shit off. Knock it off. This is how you get blessed by showing that love. By recognizing people's greatness. Shouting people out that are putting in that work, you know, and expecting nothing in return, doing things out of you know, doing things from the kindness of your own heart, just doing things, saying things from the kindness of your own heart. Stop expecting something in return because you did something kind and generous. That still doesn't mean it came from your heart. It didn't come from there because now you're expecting something in return and you're not going to get it. You're not. Because was it really from genuine intentions? If you did something for somebody and you were just expecting something back in return? No, man. That means it wasn't genuine from the, from the, very, from the very beginning. It wasn't. It wasn't genuine at all. Because you're expecting something back. Listen, you will get your time and the Most High will bless you when the time is right. Just be patient. All you have to do is be patient for the blessing to come. Because like I said in the beginning of the video, the Most High is watching you. He's watching the good that you do. He's watching the bad that you do. So keep that in mind. You don't have to expect something back in return. 
You don't have to come in with that mindset that, hey, if I do something cool for this person and kind for that individual, maybe I'll get something back in return. No, that's a horrible mindset to have. Expect nothing in return. The whole point is you're doing it from the kindness of your own heart. Like I said, the most high ponder of the heart. So he ponder of your heart, your heart is genuine and pure, right? That means you're most likely to get blessed. The most high gonna gonna work for you. The most high is going to give you what you want because he knows that your heart is pure. He knows that your heart is of genuine intentions, fam. You have to understand this, man. But with that being said, I've been on here long enough. I want to really speak my mind and give you all this word. You know, I don't know what I'm going to really title this video. I mean, I just want to come here and talk to you guys, man. You know, I'm just, I just had this in my spirit and a lot's been on my mind lately. And God told me to make this video and talk to you guys about whatever, but stop being jealous, man. Cut it out with that jealousy. Jealousy is very dangerous, and having people in your life that are that are jealous of you, it is very dangerous. Very dangerous. It's detrimental to your life. So cut them out. Cut them off right now. This is Mr. Solo Dolo. Like the video for the algorithm. Pound that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And let me know down in the comments section your thoughts. And hopefully this video, it encouraged you to do, to block people out of your life, to cut those people out of your life. And hopefully this video, you know, helped you in any single way possible, in any way possible. So I'm out, man. God bless.